Hey guys, if your screen is randomly going black on your Windows 11 computer, then keep watching as in this video I'm going to share with you all the troubleshooting steps you need to fix this issue. So before we start, I'd recommend for you to check your cables and to make sure they're securely plugged into the back of your monitor, and you could even try using a completely new cable to rule out a faulty cable. And if you're sure you don't have a cable problem, then the first thing we can do is come to our start menu and search for CMD, then right click on the command prompt and make sure to run as administrator. Then inside of here you need to type in S FC space slash scan now and hit enter and what this is going to do is it's going to scan all of your core Windows system files and it's going to check for any damaged or missing files just wait a few minutes for this scan to complete and while we're waiting we can minimize this window and then head back to the start menu and search for change screensaver and then tap on change screensaver inside of this drop down menu you want to make sure none is selected as obviously if you have something like blank this can also be the cause of the black screen on your computer so make sure this is set to none and then we can press apply and OK to save those changes, then head back over to the start menu and search for control panel, tap on the control panel tab, and inside of here make sure view by is set to large icons, and then come down to the power options. Inside of power options make sure you have high performance checked, and then come into change plan settings. Inside of here we want to make sure all of these boxes are set to never, and then come into change advanced power settings, expand this box down here where it says PCI Express, inside of link state power management, and you need to make sure both of these are set to off, so if it's says anything else like moderate power savings, we need to make sure both of these say off. You can then press apply and OK to save those changes and we can then close out of this window. Come over to the start menu and search for device manager and then tap on the device manager tab. Inside of here we're going to update some drivers. The first thing you need to update is your graphic drivers and you can do this by expanding display adapters and then locating your graphics card from the list. Now I have two graphics cards installed onto my computer so I'll need to do this for both. But basically you just right click on your graphics card, come into update driver and then press search automatically for drivers. As you can see I'm already running the latest driver on my computer so we can close out of this window and you're going to come down to monitors and expand this and we're going to do the exact same thing for integrated monitor, select on update driver and then we can search automatically for drivers. Once you've done that you can then close out of these windows, head back to your start menu and search for settings and tap on the settings icon. Come over to the system tab from the left here, inside of display and then you want to scroll all the way down to advanced display. At the bottom here you should see something called choose a refresh rate. You want to make sure this is set to the maximum number available. So for my computer I have 120 hertz available. I'm going to select that. And the last thing we can do is come down to Windows Update and press this check for updates button and just ensure that you're running the latest version of Windows as sometimes outdated software can also cause problems with your display. Then once you've ensured that you're running the latest version of Windows, we can come back over to our command prompt. And as you can see, this scan's now complete and Windows didn't detect any problems. But if any problems were identified, then it will be listed here. And we can then close out of the command prompt. And hopefully by following all of these steps, that's now fixed any issues you're having with the black screen on your Windows 11 computer. If you still are experiencing problems, then please drop a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. If this video did help you, then please drop a like and subscribe. Until next time.